What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Happy Nurses Week. I'm actually, before the end of this video, there will be a disclaimer, and I'm going to just mention something about Nurses Week at the end. But I really want to discuss some cheap dividend stocks that I'm buying and or reinvesting their dividends. And there's some recent news that is fantastic with this cheap real estate investment trust that... Some people like Ninji Research or whatever you call them tried to say that they didn't, you know, that they were in big trouble. But guess what? They just hiked their dividend. And I'm going to make a big announcement about that because I'm going to re uh, refer Zach's to that. But man, I loaded up big today and I really wanted to uh, go over that. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check these dividend stocks out right now, first, I'm going to start with Arbor Realty Trust. After this video, I'm actually going to buy some shares. And of course, I'm going to reinvest the dividends because I got a big dividend uh, distribution schedule with these guys. And I cannot wait because the recent announcement is fantastic. They're sitting at 1230. Now, for a mortgage-backed real estate investment trust to be in line with the S&P and or beat the S&P, that is quite impressive. I did a detailed video on them. I'll have that up in the top right-hand corner. Average volume is 4.56 million. The market cap is 2.26 billion. Year range is 1010 to 1743. Huge dip right now. Day range is 1204 to 1228. Previous close is 1175. Now let's check these guys out a little bit revenue-wise and the recent announcement. Here's their revenue annually in millions US dollars. 2016, 213, 2017, 346, 2018, 484, 2019, 535, 2020, 603, 2021, 799, and 2022, 1,176. So that's a huge increase in revenue. Now, Ninji tried to really attack these guys. They didn't really have any credentials. And I'll go over, again, in the top right-hand corner, I'll go over that with you guys. And why I still like these guys is a real estate investment trust, one of the best mortgage-backed real estate investment trusts, in my honest opinion. I'm not giving financial advice, of course. This is just my thought process. This is entertainment purposes only. Now, let's check out the most recent news. And this is recent news. I'm using finance.yahoo.com. Arbor Realty Trust came out with a quarterly earnings of $0.62 cents per share, beating the Zacks consensus estimate of $0.44 per share. This compares to the earnings of 55 cents per share a year ago. These figures are adjusted for non-reoccurring items. The quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 40.91%. A quarter ago, it was expected that this real estate investment trust would post earnings of 47 cents per share when it actually produced earnings of 60 cents, delivering a surprise of 27.66%. Over the last four quarters, a company has surpassed Zach's uh, excuse me, the company has surpassed consensus EPS estimates four times. Arbor Realty Trust, which belongs to Zach's rate and equity trust industry, posted revenues of $327.95 million in the quarter ended March 2023, surpassing the Zach's consensus estimate by 2.80%. This compares to a year ago revenues of $166.7 million. The company has topped consensus revenue estimates four times over the last four quarters. Let's go over a few more things. Now that's on finance.yahoo.com. And this is on May 5th, 2023. Arbor Realty Trust reports first quarter 2023 results and increases dividend by two cents to 42 cents per share. So we have another dividend hike by Arbor. Of course, I'm going to buy it. And of course, I'm going to reinvest. So let's check out the other dividend stock that I bought today. I threw a lot today in Key Corp as well. Sitting at 977, I just posted a previous video on them. A dividend yield of 8.37%, a PE ratio of 5.53. The average volume is 26.92 million. Watch my previous video. I did a little brief review on them. 
The average volume is 26.92 million. The market cap is 9.15 billion US dollars. The key range is 854 to 2030. Day range is 976 to 1050. And this previous close is 982. Now, the one thing that I'm going to go over that I didn't go over in the previous video is how big they are. I just want to go over KeyBank, the subsidiary of KeyCorp. This is one reason why I bought these guys. I like big regional banks, okay? Not just because it's in Cleveland, Ohio, right by pretty much 20 minutes where I live, but it's big. So their customer base spans, thank you again, Wikipedia, retail, small business, corporate, commercial, and investment clients. KeyBank maintains over 1,000 branches and over 40,000 ATMs, which are in over 15 states, Alaska, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Washington. Key Corp maintains business offices in 39 states. They're also Key is also ranked 449th on the 2022 Fortune 500 list based on its 2021 revenue. So I wanted to go over that. I am close to 400 shares. I will get to 400 shares. And again, if you watch my previous video, I'll put it in the top right-hand corner. I explained to you why I like these guys. Let's go over one more dividend stock that I'm buying, and I'm going to do a detailed review on this dividend stock in the future. And that REIT is Simon Property Group. And I'm going to do a detailed review for you guys in the next two days. So make sure you hit that notification bell after you subscribe as to why I bought this REIT. I really like it. Its previous close is 109.55. Day range is 109 to 109.72. Its year range is 86.02 to 133.08. The market cap is 37.38 billion US dollars. Average volume is 1.43 million. So tomorrow, you're gonna, I'm gonna try to squeeze it in tomorrow. This, I'm gonna explain to you why I like this real estate investment trust and why I just threw $500 in it in my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. So I'm gonna jump to Nurses Week and I'm gonna jump to my disclaimer. And I wanna wish everyone a happy Nurses Week. I became a nurse in 2014 and enjoy every moment of it. I know it's a wild time working as a nurse and working on healthcare and working in for nursing. But really, since I became a nurse and had a very good uh, nurse mentor, I learned how to invest. It gave me the discipline how to invest. It gave me discipline how to value time and resources. It also helped me grow as a person. And I just want to thank all of you guys who I've met either on FinTwit and uh, real life. And nurses I've met just crossing paths with you guys. I wish you guys a fantastic Nurses Week. And, you know, you guys are fantastic. Just keep on pushing. You know, just stay positive. I know it's a, a crazy time with a nursing shortage. But since I, I'm telling you, since I became a nurse, and if you guys are considering becoming a nurse, I love every moment of it. I'm close to becoming a nurse practitioner. And, you know, I... I started travel nursing. It really changed everything. This is how I started to invest. I'm creating my retirement pension. And I learned just values, principles, my own philosophy in life. And that was integrated within my um, nursing um, career, how I kind of integrated my values and principles because of good nurses and good people in healthcare. And the patients, the patients actually do appreciate us as nurses. And, you know, I worked yesterday and a lot of them were saying happy nurses weekend. That meant a lot. So, you know, a lot of you guys, there's tough times, you know, whether it's personal or um, other situations, financial, you know, you're going to get through it. Just stay positive, keep on fighting. And, uh, you know, this week is for you, for the people that are fighting and struggling. You guys take care. And I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer notice. This is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. Always consult with a financial advisor regarding financial advice. I do not give financial advice. I will tell you I do not give financial advice. There's always a risk regarding investing and you can lose a lot of money. 
My channel is for entertainment purposes only, and I reveal to you my dividend investing journey. Do not take this with any form of financial advice in these videos. I hope you enjoy my video and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Thank you so much for watching this.